Hey, Margie. Hey, Blair, thank you. Well, you know, one thing we learned during the pandemic is that COVID-19 affects people in various ways. Some of those ways include nearsightedness for school aged children because they were forced to use electronic devices. This causes a significant increase in nearsightedness. Dr. Jacqueline Ladd is an optometrist who has seen this in children and is joining us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. So first off, explain what nearsightedness or myopia is. So myopia is also known as nearsightedness, mm -hmm. but that's um, kind of described more in the context of what the symptoms are. Okay. Um, the root of the issue with myopia is actually that the eye grows too big from front to back, which can increase risks of sight-threatening diseases in the future. So, so what are some of the symptoms? Like what should parents be looking for if their kids start complaining about? So a lot of times kids don't complain, so bringing okay. them in for their exams <laughs> is oftentimes a good, a good thing to do. But symptoms that you can watch for is if you see them squinting or if you see them moving closer to objects, if they rub their eyes or if they complain of headaches. Those are all reasons to say, hey, we might want to get this checked out. Right. So the pandemic, as we mentioned, you know, a lot of kids were forced to stay at school. So much more screen time. They were probably already having more screen time than needed. But then that really brought it to the forefront. Right. When our eyes are developing in childhood, they like to grow into what we're doing a lot of. So if we're spending most of our time looking at near devices mm -hmm. and spending less time outdoors, it causes sort of an earlier onset of myopia in kids. And have you seen this in your own practice? Absolutely. A lot more kids are coming in. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, you also partnered with Treehouse Eyes. Tell us about that. So Treehouse Eyes is a network of private practices throughout the country that specialize in myopia management, which um, offers treatments for kids that can actually get slow down the rates of progression of myopia, um, which can kind of protect their vision for the future mm -hmm. and uh, reduce risks of pathology down the line as well. Yeah, with LASIK and all the things out there, I mean, once you're diagnosed with myopia, are you like that forever or is there a way you can change it? So yes, when you're myopic, you'll be myopic forever because okay. the root of the issue is that eye growth. However, the symptoms is something that we can correct with lenses and refractive surgery. I know one of your specialties is contact lenses and they're getting more and more advanced. Absolutely. Yeah. So there's new technology and new research that shows that special types of contact lenses mm -hmm. as well prescription eye drops can slow down the root of the issue, which is the eye elongation, which can protect the child's vision for the future. Gotcha. Dr. Ladd, is there anything that parents can do now in order to kind of prevent this from happening? So getting your kids outdoors. Okay. Um, there is a lot of studies that show that spending time outdoors can delay the onset of myopia. And when we find that myopia onsets earlier in childhood, those kids are more at risk of becoming highly myopic. Mm -hmm. So getting them off the screens and outside to play is important. And screen time is screen time, whether it's the TV screen or a game that they're looking at or the iPad, the phone, it's all the same. It's all the same, but it's particularly worse when it's handheld and close to the eyes. Okay, very good. Dr. Ladd, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate this. Great thank advice you. for us. We'll also have a link for you at stlmoms.com for more information for Treehouse Eyes and Myopia. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. One more bad could bring a fall.